All right, it's Thursday. You know, normally I do videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, but I've been sick the past three, four days because everybody gets sick between Thanksgiving and Chinese New Year's, which is, I don't know, somewhere around the uh, mid or end of January. But uh, this is Take the Pizza. I'm the host, Mike Stiggs. Let's get on with the show here. A woman in Oregon punched her boyfriend in the face two times for leaving her dog outside in the rain. The 25-pound poodle named Puddles is doing fine. When I take my dogs out, I always spray them with Rain-X because the, that keeps the rain away. It works when you live in Las Vegas. How come nobody names their dogs like horses? Like, you know, they, everybody that has a, a horse... They'll have like a, a, a whole phrase, a whole phrase in the name. Or, you know, it'll be two names all wrapped it in one. Like there was one horse named California Chrome, which was the 2014 and 2016 Horse of the Year. And uh, it won 16 out of 27 races. And if you ever look up the picture of the horse, it's brown. I don't know why they call it California Chrome, but uh, the horse was brown or, or tan, depending on what side the, the sun was on, if it was on the the left side of the horse or the right side of the horse. But then there's another horse with a, with a good name, and its name was I'll Have Another. That horse won five out of seven races. It, di it didn't run a lot of races because it was probably drunk. Then there's another cool name. There was one horse named War Emblem. And then Smarty Jones. My next dog, if I have another dog, I'm going to name him Summer, Son of a Bitch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this with all this uh, being sick and everything. I actually had to, had to, I had to write notes. To, that's how sick I am. I actually had to write notes to do this show today. A guy in Philadelphia robbed a drugstore using a note saying, I'm sorry, I have a sick child. And then he demanded money. What's wrong with him? You should have asked for a moxicillin. You know, a $20 bill three times a day is not going to work. Now he's got to go to the doctor. He's got to get a prescription. And then he's got to go to another pharmacy to get it filled. He didn't think this through. You know, you should have just asked for the for a moxicillin. Or you, you could have drove up to Canada for $8. You could get a truckload of a moxicillin. You know, in Canada or any other countries, just not this country here. A guy in Georgia broke into a Taco Bell, made a meal, and took a nap. I thought Taco Bells are all 24-7. At least he didn't rob the Taco Bell. He even cleaned up after, and he even, he even uh, mopped the bathroom floor. So that was nice of him. You know, at least he didn't rob the place. All right, in North Carolina... The police are looking for the bad wig bandit. The bad wig bandit robs banks and he wears bad wigs. Please make a note of that. Right now, Jeopardy is having the greatest of all time contest. The top t three players that ever played Jeopardy, which is uh, Ken Jennings, this guy from Vegas who's a sports handicapper, and some other guy who's won like $4 million. And what I learned by watching this show, that Jeopardy should not be an hour long. It is too boring. And I'll never learn the other two guys' names. All right, some people are asking me to comment about Iran. Okay, this is what I got. I did a little research, and Iran is a country in the Middle East. Its flag is red, white, and green. The same colors... As the flags for the country of Italy and Mexico. So it would be nice if they would change the colors. Because it would probably offend some people. Another thing I learned about Iran. That they're always yelling. You know death to Albania. And death to it's Israel. I don't know. They're always yelling. I can't understand what they're yelling. All right. A woman in Indiana went to a McDonald's at 4 a.m. and told the employees if she didn't get her dipping sauce, 
she's going to rob the place. The people who live in Iran are called Iranians. I forgot to say that. I should have read the article to see if she got the dipping sauce. There are no McDonald's in Iran or North Korea and some other countries. All right, so those, that's all I want. That's all I'm going to say about Iran. There's a couple things I know about it, but I'm not going to go into uh, you know why they whacked this guy because you know they, they whacked the guy because he was going to run for president and he was probably going to win. So there was a deal made that they're going to take out this guy, and then everybody's going to get mad, and then they got to go and retaliate. And that's why when they retaliated, there was no casualties because this was uh, this was like a mob tactic. But I'm not going to mention any of that stuff. <laughs>